Hello friends, welcome to a new video on Selenium Python topics. In this video, I am going to explain how to use asynchronous function in PyTest automation framework. So let me explain what is synchronous and asynchronous functions first. Uh, synchronous programming means the execution will happen sequentially in the return order. So if you are calling method 1 at line number 1 and method 2 at line number 2, then method 2 will be executed only after finishing method 1. Whereas in the case of asynchronous programming, we don't have to wait for something to be completed before we run other parts of code. So I will explain this in detail in the same video. I will be explaining 4 points here. How to write an async function, how to call an async function from another function and how to call async function from a test method and finally how to call the async function from a fixture method. Let's start. I've created two python files one for the test class and one for the page object class and now uh, let us define one async function here. So how can we uh, define an async function? We can use the keyword async async diff and let me write one function to calculate the sum of two numbers uh, num1 and num2 and we can return the sum of uh, this num1 and num2 and this is an async function here i just written one function to get sum of two numbers usually async function will be used to wait for something for example to wait for file upload or some database action or you can even put some sleep here okay now i want to call this async function from another function let's see how to do that so for that i'm going to create a new function uh, get uh, some result and I'm going to call that function uh, sum self dot sum of we can pass two numbers 1 2 and we are storing the result in the variable called result and then we can return the same value and since uh, we are calling the async function inside a normal function we need to do some changes we need to make some changes we cannot simply call async functions like this so if you are calling one async function from another function then that function also need to be declared as async okay and also when you call the function you need to await for the result of that function i will be explaining this in detail for now, uh, let us see how we can call this async function from our test method from the test class. Let me define one test method. Test method 1. And then let me create the object of the page class, learn selenium. And then let me call that function calling dot get some result. Since it is returning some data, we can print out that value. Now let us run this file and let's see what is the result. We can see the test method is passed, but what is the test result? Instead of the sum, uh, the instead of printing the result in integer, what we got? We got some core routine object. So we are calling this async function and instead of the sum 3, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3, we are getting something called core routine object, right? So what is a core routine object? When you define a function with async term, async keyword, this async will actually create a wrapper around that function. So when you call an async function, it returns a core routine object. In simple words, you can say core routine is if any function which has async keyword at starting. So this core routine object is just like any other function, but the difference from others is to call this to call this uh, core routine object, you need to await its execution. You need to add the term await keyword, right? So let us try adding this await uh, term in our test method. And since await term is used, we need to define it as an async function only. And now let's see what is the result. But this time we got some error, right? The test case is skipped and the uh, warning message is async diff function and no async plugin installed. So it is showing there is no plugin, async plugin installed, right? So we need to install one plugin called pytest-async-io. 
you can add that in two ways either you can add it in your uh, requirements.txt file i have already made a video on that how to add all the required plugins uh, in a by using a uh, requirements.txt file or what you can do you can go to settings project interpreter section and you can search for uh, pytest async io and you can install that particular uh, plugin okay so as you can see uh, the plugin is already installed in my machine i have already installed it but then you might be thinking then why i'm getting this error right so after installing this plugin we need to add one pytest marker uh, into a test method just to let the uh, test method knows that we are making use of that uh, as in async io uh, plugin you can use pytest.mark.asyncio so that it will be making use of that plugin and now let us run this file so this time we got the correct result test result equal to 3 right so this is how you can call one uh, async function in a test method you can make use of pytest.mark.asyncio now let us go to our fourth point how to call one async function from a fixture okay so any fixture that can be uh, inside a test method or it could be inside a conf test file okay so let me define one conf test file here and let me uh, create a fixture So I've created one fixture inside conf test, my fixture for which uh, scope is equal to session and auto user set as true. So it will be automatically called and we have added one print statement in the fixture. Let us run this uh, test method and let's see the conf test fixture is called. Yes, it is called. Conf test fixture is called. Okay, now our next uh, motive is to call this uh, async function from the fixture. So let us see how to do that. So let me try to write the same code. Created object of uh, learn selenium. We'll call the get some result. So in test method, we have added the print statement as uh, print of test result, right? So in conf test, we can add something called uh, fixture result, and then we are expecting the uh, sum of the two numbers we can add a weight keyword here and then we need to define this fixture as async and now let us run this file but what is the result the test method is passed but we can only see test result right which is coming from the test method we are not able to see the print statement from the conf test file we are not able to see the fixture result right here so that means we need to do some changes uh, we cannot uh, call a same function just like we did before for a normal test method. So when it comes to a fixture, there is some other way to achieve this. For that, you can use async io dot run method. So for that, uh, let me remove this async uh, term, and now we can make some change to this uh, print statement. Uh, we can use async io dot run of then we can call that method which is nothing but coding dot get some result okay so what does this async io dot run method will do we cannot run any async function without creating the event loop there is something called event loop so async io will create an event loop and it will add the core routine into this event loop that is how it has been running okay now let us rerun this file See this time along with the test result, we got fixture result as well. Fixture result equal to 3. Now I will show you one another example which will make use of async io method. Let me comment the above line and fixture result async io dot instead of run i am calling the function called get event loop and then uh, we can run until complete and then we can call the same function calling dot get sub result so sometime you might be requiring this function it is 
to uh, waiting uh, we are uh, getting the current event loop and then waiting it to be completed and then we are printing the sum result and we will get the same result in the output uh, so that's it uh, i hope it was a helpful video for you uh, if so please hit the like button and uh, see you soon in our next video thanks for watching